So you came to the workshop, the back pain and sciatica workshop, and you didn't schedule. I just wanted to share a couple of things with you because when that happens, I just think that there's something that I failed you on, either in terms of communicating importance or maybe you have something else going on in your life and you need to put this off for right now. But I wanted to really share the important viewpoint with you today that, you know, what you did was you saw an ad, whether it was on Facebook or in the newspaper or in a postcard or a friend referred you in. You raised your hand, you called, or you went online, you registered for the workshop, you showed up, you listened to me talk about back pain and sciatica, you saw me treat somebody, we went over three big points, including three common causes for back pain and sciatica, you filled out your worksheet, and then you didn't schedule. You might be a provider, I know frequently we have physicians in the room, or chiropractors, or even other physical therapists that are not in pain, rather looking for further information for their practice. And if that's the case, I get it. It makes sense that you wouldn't want to schedule. So just, you know, send me an email back and let me know that you're a provider and, and uh, we can take you off the list. However, if you are a provider and are having pain, I would still really like to help you. As much as we would love to be able to treat ourselves, we just can't always do that. So, also, you know, maybe I know some people will get upset that I don't have the chance because I usually hang around at the end and, and I'll answer questions one-on-one -on -one with people. Some people get upset that I don't have time specifically just for them. It really puts me in a tough spot because I have, you know, a line of people and I'm, I'm working my way through trying to get everybody's questions answered. I try hard not to offend anybody, um, but potentially could, up a, you know, end up offending the person who's next or the person who's waiting to have their question answered. So I've really tried hard, and there's not really a better way for me to handle that. But what happens is when we do have an appointment, you do have a chance to get your question answered one-on-one. -on -one. So with one of our doctors of physical therapy who specializes in back pain and sciatica, um, and they're super qualified manual therapists, so they would really be able to help you, and you get that one-on-one -on -one time with them. The other thing that can happen, and frequently we'll run into this, and it's, it's happened to me, just somebody who came in after four or five years, and they saw me do a back pain and sciatica workshop, you know, like I said, about four or five years ago. They didn't schedule, and they finally came back in now after a series of injections, and they're kind of on the eve of getting surgery. They waited this long to take care of their back pain and sciatica, and I want to, you know, really show you what happens for most people. I don't think I did this in the workshop for you, um, so I'll kind of show you here. So basically, if we take all of the activities that we do day to day, you know, are the things that you used to do that, you know, maybe you no longer do. Maybe it's like, you know, if you look up here, like yard work, lifting, running, you know, and through here. So those are some of the things that, like, we used to do, like more aggressive activities or rigorous activities. They're on the outside of this, of this kind of circle here. And then real easy stuff, like, like sitting or sleeping in through here are on the inside. So what can happen, um, and what happened to this gentleman that came back after four or five years, is uh, when we have things like that, most of us, what we'll do is, is we tend to just ignore that. So again, you're at the workshop, so you know that there are three things that we can do to handle problems in life. We can ignore it, and in most every case where we ignore a problem, it gets worse. We can try to alter it or change it, or we can actually lean in and handle it. The free screening, the free exam, is a way for you to find exactly what it is that you need to handle for your back pain and sciatica. You can get down to the source of the true problem, like what is really happening. And what happens is, naturally, if something hurts every time that you do it, like yard work or housework or, you know, run your vacuum cleaner up and through here, you're probably less likely to do it, right? So that's like what happens to most of us. So we eliminate that part of it. So if you look in through here, so that we're no longer doing this part up and through here. So then we get to the point where we have pain if we stand more than 15 minutes or we walk. So that's this here. And then we eliminate that section of it in through there. So eventually what happens is we lose all that, right? So, so we're doing that and you can see that really, really quickly we can, what can happen over time or you know a few months or even a few years we don't handle the cause of the problems is we get ourselves to where we're boxed in and we can only do a few things and we're kind of missing out on life. So if you see, this is kind of where we end up in this, this inside box. And oftentimes we may feel embarrassed if we have to rely on neighbors or friends or family members to help us do certain things like go grocery shopping or 
you know, drive us somewhere or something like that. Even at a, you know, relatively young age, we can feel like we're losing a little bit of independence and, and that can make you feel really embarrassed. This is what happens most of the time and I don't want that to happen for you. So I'll once again offer you, I know I said that the day only, you know, at our clinic, that that day only. But if you want a free exam, which is an appointment with one of our doctors of physical therapy who specialize in back pain and sciatica, just reply back to this email and let me know. We'll make sure that you get taken care of because that's so important to us. We'll schedule an appointment and again, it's a free exam. You get to see a doctor of physical therapy who specializes in back pain and sciatica. And at the end of that time, you're going to know what causes your back pain and sciatica and you know whether or not physical therapy or conservative treatment or natural treatment is something that can help you out with, you know, with that plan and with your pain and, and then what that plan looks like. So there's no obligation. You don't have to schedule anything else or anything like that. It's just our way of helping you get a really good grasp on, you know, kind of what's going on with your back pain and sciatica and what you need to do to handle it. So reply back to this email and let me know, you know, kind of where you are with that and, you know, we'll get you set up with an exam and, and get a free exam for you. So we look forward to seeing you in soon.